Hello, and welcome to this introduction to the Continuum Pan and Zoom effect for Avid Media Composer. I'll begin with the still graphic on the V1 track in my Avid timeline. I'll add a new video track with the Command Y shortcut, and I'll use this as the filler layer to hold my Pan and Zoom effect. I'll open the Avid Effect palette, open the Continuum Perspective group, and drag Continuum Pan and Zoom to my filler track. The default move for the effect is applied to the filler layer. I want to apply the effect to a high res image file, so I'll go to Source Options, select External File, and click the External File checkbox to navigate to the folder containing my high res image. Now the default move is applied to my high res image file. This is a transition between two states, Transform A and Transform B. When I enable Preview Mode, I can visualize the transforms as a crop region on my high-res source image. Now when I select Transform B, its framing is highlighted in color. The mini pick in the top right of the preview window shows the final result. I'll select Transform A as the preview target and adjust the framing. Now I'll select Transform B and adjust the framing so that it's centered on Rikers Island. I can adjust basic position, scale and rotation with the on-screen widgets. I'll enable 3D transformation and twirl open the transform controls in order to set the tumble or x-axis rotation for transform B. Now I'd like to refine my animation. In the animation controls we can see that the start and end positions are held for 5% of the segment's duration. I'll set these to zero so that the animation begins on the first frame and ends on the last frame of my segment. Ease in and ease out control the acceleration and deceleration values for the start and end keyframes and can be visualized by displaying the preview ease curve. Additional refinements such as vignetting and motion blur may also be applied. Now I'll place a couple of cuts on the filler track with the pan and zoom effect. When I scrub, we can see that the auto animation from Transform A to Transform B is applied to all three segments. I'll go to the middle segment and change the workflow to Hold on Transform B. On the final segment, I'll auto animate from Transform B back to Transform A. Now I can adjust the timing of my animation by trimming the edit points in the Avid timeline. No keyframing required. Now that I'm happy with my animation, I'll finish off by moving my background layer above my pan and zoom layer and applying the Continuum Composite effect to blend them together. Finally, I'll add my title graphic to V3 to complete my composition. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris FX products.